Welcome to a journey through the life and legacy of James Monroe, the fifth president of the United States. Born in 1758, Monroe played a crucial role in shaping the early years of the nation, earning a place in history for his contributions to American politics, diplomacy, and territorial expansion. James Monroe was born on April 28, 1758, in Westmoreland County, Virginia. He grew up in a time when the American colonies were still part of the British Empire. Like many of his contemporaries, Monroe received a limited formal education. However, his father encouraged him to pursue knowledge, and he eventually attended the College of William and Mary. Monroe's life took a significant turn when the American Revolution erupted. In 1776, at the age of 18, he joined the Continental Army and served with distinction, fighting in several battles, including the pivotal Battle of Trent. The experience of the Revolutionary War deeply influenced his political beliefs and commitment to American independence. After the war, Monroe embarked on a career in law and politics. He was a delegate to the Continental Congress and played a role in the ratification of the United States Constitution. He was a champion of the anti-federalist cause and advocated for a Bill of Rights to be added to the Constitution to protect individual liberties. In 1794, Monroe was appointed as the U.S. Minister to France. During his time in France, he faced the tumultuous years of the French Revolution. Monroe's diplomatic skills were put to the test as he navigated the complex politics of the time. He also played a key role in negotiating the Louisiana Purchase, which doubled the size of the United States. Monroe continued to rise in American politics and served as Secretary of State under President James Madison. As Secretary of State, he played a crucial role in managing foreign affairs, including the handling of the War of 1812 against Great Britain. One of James Monroe's most enduring legacies is the Monroe Doctrine. In 1823, he declared that European powers should no longer interfere in the affairs of the Western Hemisphere. This policy laid the foundation for American foreign policy for years to come and established the United States as a dominant force in the Americas. In 1817, James Monroe assumed the presidency, becoming the fifth president of the United States. His presidency is often referred to as the era of good feelings because of the relative political harmony during his time in office. During his presidency, Monroe presided over a period of territorial expansion. Florida was acquired from Spain, and the Missouri Compromise was reached, maintaining a balance between slave and free states in the Union. One notable feature of Monroe's presidency was his appointment of a skilled and diverse cabinet, which included John Quincy Adams as Secretary of State and John C. Calhoun as Secretary of All. This group of advisors, known as the Virginia Dynasty, helped shape the policies of Monroe's administration. After serving two terms as president, Monroe retired to his estate in Virginia. He lived a quiet life, tending to his plantation and occasionally offering advice to his successors, including Presidents John Quincy Adams and Andrew Jackson. James Monroe's life and career left an indelible mark on the early history of the United States. He was a soldier, statesman, and diplomat whose contributions helped define the nation's identity and set the stage for its growth and expansion. His Monroe Doctrine remains a cornerstone of American foreign policy, and his legacy as the heir of Good Feelings President endures as a time of relative unity and stability in American politics. As we reflect on the life of James Monroe, we can appreciate the remarkable journey of a man who rose from humble beginnings to become a key figure in the shaping of the United States, leaving a lasting imprint on its history.